Hello there. Plenty to talk about in Europe at the moment. A bit of a west-east divide in actual fact, and you can see that on the satellite picture. Best of the sunshine into Western Europe. This stripe of cloud here, a band of pretty intense showers that's moving its way through Eastern Europe, and it's bringing a change to the weather story. In fact, if we take a look at the southeastern half of the Mediterranean, in comparison to where we were a week ago, temperatures down a good 15 to 20 degrees. So it's more pleasant in terms of the feel of things, not the record-breaking heat, but it's dry and settled. Few scattered showers into mainland Greece, most of the showers really across from Hungary, Romania, up into Poland. Germany looks largely fine and dry, a few uh, isolated showers into southern Scandinavia, but it's Western Europe that's seeing the best of the drier, settled weather with some of that sunshine continuing. So this is the story as we move into Tuesday. A real rash of showers continues and extends a little bit further south into mainland Greece. Mid-20s looks likely across parts of Spain, high 20s into the south of France. So the city forecast for the next few days shows that dry, settled and pretty warm weather for the time of year once again into Western Europe. Further east, we've still got that rash of showers, not the extreme heat in the Mediterranean either that we've had just a week or so ago. Take care. Hello there. A forecast for the Middle East coming up shortly. But first of all, let's start off in Africa, where we've got a weather front that's moving its way into South Africa and it will bring some outbreaks of showery rain. Now, you can just start to see it edging in on the satellite picture. So that'll bring a change in fortunes for the better, some would say, as they're desperate for rain across parts of Cape Town. Now, we've got our usual seasonal showers here, some of them close to the Gulf of Guinea, becoming a little more extensive now, as they tend to do. And the extreme heat that we had with the winds coming off the Sahara, well that's ease, so it means that temperatures into the north are easing a little as well. So that rain will clear through quite readily through Cape Town, but a little more rain is expected later on in the week, sunshine elsewhere. It means that the temperatures have taken quite a dip across Cairo as we start to see the breeze coming back off the Mediterranean, so a cooler, fresher feel here, still into the low 30s. Now, if we take a look at the Middle East, yes, we've got a few sharp showers through Armenia, Georgia, Azerbaijan, but as we push further south, it's largely fine and quiet, good deal of sunshine, heat building now, temperatures likely to peak into the low 40s, perhaps a degree or so higher in some places. And with just a light breeze here, it is going to be pretty excessive. Now, that's the story for the next five days, in actual fact, with those temperatures in Riyadh into the low 40s for the next few days. Hello there. It's business as usual with the weather in South America at the moment. Nothing particularly uh, exceptional to point out to you. We've got our shower clouds across the Amazon basin. We've got a weather front slicing through the south of Brazil, bringing some rain to Rio de Janeiro. And then to the south of that, it's largely fine and quiet with a scattering of showers down across the southern tip of Chile and into the Falkland Isles. It's pretty wet and windy here. Now up into the north, we've got some heavier rain across Costa Rica and Panama, some sharper showers of French Guiana and also in into the north of Brazil as well. There's our weather front down into the south affecting Rio de Janeiro, but then behind it, it's quiet and temperatures perhaps into the mid to high teens across northern Argentina. So a few scattered showers down to the south, and as I say, it's on the windy side, that rain slowly easing away from Stanley. So here's our city forecast for the next few days. Little in the way of change, dry, settled and sunny, plenty of rain affecting Bogota. That's a slightly different story across parts of Mexico. Fine and quiet here, but Central America, some heavy rain down into Costa Rica and Panama and heavy rain affecting Florida, just affecting uh, the far north of the Caribbean. So parts of Cuba could stay pretty unsettled for the next few days. So some sharp thundery downpours expected here and you can see that in the next five-day forecast. Kingston, Jamaica stays dry, settled and sunny. Hello there. Plenty to talk about across North America at the moment. Let's start off with a pressure chart where we've got this weather front really that could spark off some torrential thundery showers moving through the plains and eventually down into Texas and the Mississippi Valley. Now we're looking at large hail, lots of thunder and lightning as well. To the south and east of that, there's some heavy rain into Florida with a scattering of showers across the east coast. Now, 
Further west, it's a different story. Across the Pacific Northwest, we've got a weather front here and down to the desert southwest, extreme heat. So some real contrasting weather conditions. Showery outbreaks of rain affecting British Columbia, maybe into parts of Oregon, but some of that warmth will start to build into California. We're going to see that heat very much a feature into San Francisco, and we could have some extreme heat with weather warnings across the far southwest. Now, you can see that in Phoenix, Arizona. Once again, those temperatures are likely to peak in excess of 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's move over to the east then where it's a little cooler and we're seeing a scattering of showers but nothing particularly extensive. Fine and dry for New York. Showers affecting Tennessee and down into Georgia but the most extensive heavy rain is down into the southern half of Florida and that's going to be a feature through Sunday into Monday. So some sharp thundery downpours are expected to continue and you can see this in the city forecast for both Atlanta and Miami. That's it. Take care. Hello there. Here's the forecast for South Asia and Storm Umpum still causing us some problems despite it making landfall for a few days now. We are still looking at some torrential heavy rainfall. So you can see where it's affecting northeastern states of India and Bangladesh in particular. In fact, we could see as much as another 400 millimetres of rain across parts of Assam and that could lead to some further severe localized flooding. Elsewhere, heat very much a feature and warnings remain in force here. I'll come back to that in just a moment. If you take a look at Central Asia though, it's a little more straightforward. Yes, it's pretty warm. We've got temperatures into the mid to high 30s, but it's dry, settled and sunny. A few very isolated showers across the mountains, but really it's all about the heat as we push out of Pakistan into northern India, mid 40s likely here. A few scattered showers as well, close to the Kerala coastline, maybe one or two towards the Maldives and into Sri Lanka. But the heaviest, most extensive rain that's the main issue at the moment remains across northeastern states of India and Bangladesh as Umpum still has a bit of a sting in its tail. Here's the city forecast for the next few days. A good deal of dry weather in some of the major cities with the heat, the talking point. The risk of showers still continues across parts of Sri Lanka. But it does look as though we will see a good deal of dry, settled sunny weather elsewhere. Take care. Hello there. Some unusually heavy rain affecting Western Australia. More on that in just a moment. But first of all, let's start off across Asia where you can see the shower cloud on the satellite picture. This massive cloud here across central and eastern China, some very heavy rain. Now the brighter yellows and greens denoting the intensity of that rainfall as it continues to drift its way steadily eastwards could bring some localised flooding. Few scattered showers into northern China, Korean Peninsula and Japan fine with some sunny spells expected. Few showers into Vietnam and Thailand. And the heaviest of the showers perhaps across the southern Philippines as well. But the city forecast shows nothing of concern over the next five days. It's business as usual in terms of the weather. Let's take a look at Australia though. Western Australia, well, this is the remnants of Storm Mangan. And you can see uh, from the mass of cloud, we are looking at heavy rain and damaging gusts of winds in excess of 130 kilometres an hour. Over 100 millimetres of rain is likely. But by Monday, that drifts its way steadily south and the damaging gusts of winds will slowly ease. Few scattered showers across the east of Australia as well and some stronger winds down across the south coast. But heavy rain across the North Island of New Zealand slowly easing away, just affecting parts of the north of the South Island. But generally speaking, it's a slow improvement here over the next few days. And you can see that on the city forecast as well. Quieter for Melbourne too.